In this video, I'm going to show you how to use headings and subheadings in your writing. Headings and subheadings are important for breaking up your page visually, they're important for summarizing your content for your reader, and they're also important for SEO to help Google find you. So probably the most important thing that subheadings do is just break up your page visually to make it easier to read. Let me show you an example of this from my Passive Income Project blog. Here we are. So we have our main heading here, and as you can see, this article is about how to improve your readability, how to boost your readability with subheadings. So you've got the heading there, which tells your reader what the article is about, and then you can even see, kind of peeking up from the bottom, we have our first subheading. But rather than a big block of text right here in the middle, you can see it's broken up by that. And as we scroll down, you'll see how this subheading breaks up this text kind of gives your eye something to focus on. And then as you continue to move down, we have another one. And notice how this subheading appears before the end of the page. If this subheading were down off the page, then we would have all this text flowing all the way off the page and you wouldn't have anything to sort of catch your attention, break up the page for the eye, and give you something to look forward to. Now we can scroll down one more time and you'll see sort of the same thing. Just when you start to get to the end of a big block of text, a subheading pops up and we see something else that's kind of visually stimulating. I want to show you a, a sort of simple, obvious example of how this is done in a Word document. So this is just some basic filler text and you can see how a decent job has been done of breaking up the text into shorter sentences, different paragraph lengths, and things like that. But it still is sort of one continuous block of text. But if we insert headings and subheadings into it, you'll see what a difference it makes. Okay, let's take a look at this one now. Our heading gives us a really obvious intro to what the text is about, and it draws us into the page. This big block of text here is broken up by this subheading right here. And then as we scroll down, we have more subheadings and more subheadings to continue to just break it up and draw the eye through. So that's the first thing that you do with subheadings is break up the page. The second thing that you do with subheadings that's very important is you summarize what the article or web content or sales copy is about with your subheadings. So we can look at this example again. Our headline says, How to Grow Tomatoes That Explode with Flavor. So it's a very clear indication of what the article is about. We're going to learn how to grow delicious tomatoes. Our first subheading says, what makes garden tomatoes taste better? So we know that this section of the article is going to talk to us about why garden tomatoes are better than store-bought tomatoes, or possibly what gardening techniques affect the taste of your tomatoes. So we know that this whole section is going to be about that. Then we see the next subheading, what are the three tastiest tomato varieties? So we know that this section is going to tell us about three of the tastiest tomato varieties. And then finally, how to grow the most flavorful tomatoes. So we know that this section is going to tell us specifically how we can grow flavorful tomatoes. So just by looking at the three subheadings and the one heading, we have a complete summary of what the article is about. And that's very important for keeping your readers engaged. It's very important for capturing people who are in a hurry or skimmers, people who don't want to spend a ton of time slogging through your text trying to figure out what your article is about. Let's look back at our example from the Passive Income Project and we'll see exactly what that article is about. So with a quick glance, we see it says improve readability, how to boost readability with subheadings. So we know that this is about how to boost your readability with subheadings. The next subheading says, summarize your subheadings to improve readability. So we know this is about how to summarize with subheadings. As we scroll down, our next one says, improve SEO with headings and subheadings. So we know that this section is going to be about how to improve your SEO. And then finally at the bottom, we see a video, how to use subheadings to improve readability. So we know that the section below will have a video. So that's how you summarize your entire article using your subheadings. And the final thing is improving your SEO with your headings and subheadings. And this is very important because Google, as you see right here, Google likes headings that are formatted as H1 
and subheadings that are formatted as H2. And if you don't know what H1 and H2 settings are, I can show you. If I click on this main heading, you'll notice it's formatted as Heading 1. And then if you click on this subheading, it's formatted as Heading 2. Now that's in a Word document. In this WordPress blog, I have formatted this heading as H1, or Heading 1, so that Google knows it's the main heading. And I've formatted this heading as H2, so that it knows it's a main subheading. And so on and so forth. The rest of these are all formatted as Heading 2 as well. So I've not only used subheadings to summarize the article for my readers, I've also summarized it for Google by including important keywords in each of my headings and subheadings. So again, back at the top, I have an important keyword here, improve readability. If someone's looking for ways to improve readability with their writing, then this is an important keyword. I've also used an alternate version of boost readability here. And then if we break up some of the keywords, you can see we could say improve readability with subheadings. So if somebody's specifically trying to write better with subheadings to improve their readability, then they'll find that. Down here we have subheadings to improve readability. Same idea, just a different arrangement of the words. Here we have improve SEO with headings or with subheadings. So those are all keywords. And then finally we have a video about how to use subheadings, or it could be how to use subheadings to improve readability. So those are all important keywords, and Google will know that this article is about improving readability because I've included it in the headings and the subheadings. So those are three simple ways to drastically improve not only the readability of your content, but also the ability for Google to find you and send you readers.